Hello. Well, today I wanted to talk about a film that I meant to talk about last year, though, after thinking about it a bit more, still technically within the anniversary where I really wanted to talk about it, which is uh, the 20th anniversary of Gladiator. Now, this is a film that uh, I really love. I think this is an incredible film. Um, I just love watching this every so often. It's one of those epic films from the very beginning of uh, this century, really. This came out in 2000. Um, and, uh, you know, the film about is you know, obviously about uh, betrayal, Revenge are two big uh, themes, which are really uh, uh, shown early on in the film, too. It's not one of those that sort of slowly uh, unravels and becomes a betrayal and revenge and so on. Something that happens very prominent at the, in the beginning of the film. And, uh, you know, the story, you know, of Maximus uh, wanting revenge for the murder of his mother, or not mother, his wife and son um, from um, was ordered from his uh, friend, Commodus, former friend, uh, since they uh, knew each other for you know a long time many years. Commodus, you know, the Emperor's uh, son, and now he then became the Emperor after uh, killing his father. And uh, Yeah, it's... Everything that happens in the film is just really a, an incredible um, story, and I just... Uh, it's one of those films that I'm sort of at a loss of words, you know. It's like there's so much to talk about, and yet it's like, where to begin, you know, and I was even thinking about this before I started recording. And one might think that, you know, well, we should begin to make a video like this once you have something prepared, but I kept thinking about this quite often, like over the, this weekend, and still came to... Uh, the same kind of conclusion that there's a whole lot I could talk about um, and yet even then I still might not do this film justice. This is a true masterpiece. Ridley Scott, Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, and just everybody involved in this film from in front of the camera to behind the camera really brought their A game and uh, made one of the best films of uh, 2000 and also of uh, the 2000 decade uh, you know uh, this film won best picture um, I actually am happy at won best picture I think it is the best film you know of 2000 uh, I think uh, Russell Crowe was deserving of best actor I know there are people who think you know Tom Hanks for Castaway, and, you know, he was really good, he was fantastic in that film, or in the other nominees, but Tom Hanks is somebody I often hear quite a bit, um, but I have no problem with, uh, Crow winning here, uh, a very well-earned Academy Award, uh, I think, uh, Joaquin Phoenix should have won an Oscar, he should have won the Academy Award for Supporting Actor, Best Supporting Actor. Benicio Del Toro and Traffic did a fantastic job, um, but uh, Phoenix' performance is just truly uh, fantastic. You know, he's truly an evil character. He's just very evil, and he's very... You can't really sympathize with him much. Maybe to some level in that, you know, his father preferred Maximus over 
him, to which, you know, that's a bit sad, but, you know, you know, also, Maximus was a general, he took charge, he was very, like a leader, and, and you can, you can see there's qualities of Maximus as to why you can see why the The emperor did like him quite a bit more than his own son, though you know even in the film his father tells him that he's he's you know how like he does love his son, but it's like it's just he did want to give Maximus uh, like terrain or not terrain, but like. To oversee a good section, a good uh, chunk of like the like the empire, since he is such a great general and just wanted him to be have some sort of uh, command still, uh, even though he intended to you know retire and be a farmer, uh, which uh, you know is not the case. Uh, there's so much. In this film, as like you know, once I start talking about one thing, I start to go into another. Um, but Maximus is an incredible uh, character, you know, very noble in a lot of ways. He's, you know, one of the best heroes uh, created in the two thousands, really. Uh, just a very well written character, very well performed character too. Russell Crowe is perfect for this part. Um, he also turned down uh, X-Men to be, uh, be in this film. Uh, he uh, was offered to be Wolverine, but turned it down. And You know, Hugh Jackman got that part, which I think suited suits him better. Um, and you know what? Uh, yeah, Russell Crowe won an Academy Award, so there is that. Uh, the music is incredible. Hans Zimmer composed an incredible score. Uh, but yeah, there's just so much about this, and the m making of the film, the behind the scenes, is also incredible. Uh, Wanted to get the 4K version of this. Um, didn't manage to get it last year. Perhaps this year I will. Um, and maybe I'll <laughs> even give a better uh, discussion of it than I am now. Because this is sort of just an overall overall uh, enjoyment, my own little, I guess, tribute to the film. Because I really love this film. This is an incredible film. I really love this movie. You know, Ridley Scott, um, I think he deserved the Oscar for Best Director. Um, watching the film, watching it, you know, the theatrical cut and the extended cut. Uh, yeah. Both versions are incredible. Uh, but yeah, you know, watching either cut, I mean, this is a phenomenal movie. Traffic, you know, uh, Steven Soderbergh, uh, one best director, but, uh, you know, and that was a fantastic film. Also, you know, Benicio Del Toro, again, won for uh, Traffic over uh, Joaquin Phoenix in this film, but uh, I really think that the that Scott's truly made it a, a, a true epic. This film under anyone else's direction, I don't know if it would have been as good. Um, I'm sure it could have been because the story is very rich and the characters are incredible. If you, as long as you've got the right people, like Russell Crowe stays as Maximus and Joaquin Phoenix as Commodus and so on and so forth, uh, you know, uh, he would have no doubt had a winning combination there, uh, you'd have an incredible, uh, 
group of actors and actresses and uh, right crew crewmen and everybody but what Scott's direction is truly what helps make this film as incredible uh, as it is uh, and uh, I think he deserved it I think he did uh, 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 it robbed if that was if that's a if that's a good term because uh, traffic was well directed too but no I know some people like to throw the word snub, but I've always associated that with people not even getting acknowledged at all. It would be like if Ridley Scott wasn't even nominated and could never be considered for Best Director Academy Award, then he would have been snubbed. But he got acknowledged, so... I don't know. In this instance, I think Rob is a bit of a... too much of a strong like term... Uh, in this case, but he, uh, you know, I think he did deserve it. Uh, but, you know, Traffic was a fantastic film also. But I also just prefer Gladiator, uh, too. Um, this is one of my uh, favorite films of all time, too. Um, last I recall, I, I, it's my top 20 favorite films of all time. I hope to do a video in the near future about my top 20 favorite films. Um, I, I, I really love this movie. Um, I was able to see this on the big screen back in like 2013. Um, I'm able to remember the year or about that of the year. And I really loved seeing it on the big screen. Because I didn't see it when it came out because I was like 6 in 2000. Uh, when this came out, but, you know, I would have loved to have seen it last year, they were planned to do that, but it never happened, um, <clears throat> and, uh, as a result, uh, of everything that happened last year, you know, they, theaters didn't open until, like, uh, July here, and so, with that alone, uh, yeah, uh, the film, all the films that were supposed to pl be played over last year didn't happen until the very end, and even then, a lot of movies like Gladiator were shoved out, because this was supposed to come out last May, re-released, and it didn't. And they never found a way to sh put it back into their schedule because they were trying to put all the movies and trying to be appropriate at the time of year and this and that. And they never found where Gladiator would fit in or Braveheart for its 25th anniversary could ever fit in or any of the other movies that were supposed to be re released and never did. Um, that's a shame uh, because. Uh, this deserved to have had a proper 20th anniversary release, and it never did. Uh, and a theatrical re-release, I should say. Uh, there is a Steelbook uh, version of the 4K, as well as just a normal 4K version. So either one of those probably pick up. But, uh, yeah, this film, you know, if you're able to ever see it on the big screen any time in the future, uh, I would say do it, because uh, it's well worth it. Yeah, I could I could t go on all day about this film, but you know it's one of those that it's probably best I don't, because uh, it might get tiring to hear me talk. So with that, I'll just say, uh, yeah, have a you can just give your thoughts in the comments if you like, and um, just have a great day, have a great weekend, have a great week. See you all next time. Bye.